Hi everybody, Father Brian here with this week's announcements. Uh, first off, in the bulletin there are two inserts, and these inserts are both found on the parish website. The first one has to do with the upcoming treasurer trustee election. We have two people running. There's Doris Lamers and then also Brock Christensen. So the insert uh, is a biographical information about each. So be sure to take some time and read through that, check that out uh, before the election. By the end of next Sunday, everybody in the parish will have access to a ballot. Uh, those people who don't have internet access, a, ba a ballot's being mailed to them. Otherwise, we have uh, ballots online on the parish website and also in the back of church. And then ballots need to be returned to the parish office or to the drop box in church by noon on the 23rd. Okay, so there'll be a week and a couple of days uh, for people to fill out their ballots and get them back uh, to the parish. And then the other insert in the bulletin is, has information to do with masses for next weekend, the 13th and 14th. So important information there, be sure you read that. Again, just a couple of points. Uh, the obligation to go to mass is still uh, not in place. So if you choose not to go to mass next weekend, that's fine. But if you choose to come to mass, there are certain uh, guidelines and parameters that we need to to abide by. So those are written down in this um, handout that's in the bulletin, which is also on the parish website. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out the video that's on the parish website. It's called the Mass Announcement Video. Be sure to check that out. It's about 13 minutes long, but it has all the information you need to know. There's a little demonstration about how we're going to do communion. So again, be sure that you uh, check out that little video again, 13 minutes long. Uh, all important information for next weekend. Now, a question that some people have asked me, it's an excellent question, and it's one that we've been thinking about for a while, is what happens if people show up to Mass and we meet our 25% uh, occupancy capacity, and yet people are still coming? What are we going to do? And uh, the short answer to that is we're going to play it by ear. To be honest, I really have no idea how many people are going to be here at Mass next weekend, for a few reasons. One is that it's the summer and uh, attendance always seems to go down during the summer. The second is that the obligation to go to Mass is not in place. And uh, as we saw when that first kicked in on March 15th, uh, attendance went down. A third thing is that some people um, may just choose not to go to Mass right now for um, whatever reason. Uh, and then the fourth reason would be that we kind of anticipate that there'll be several of our older personers who are going to choose to just sort of wait to come back to Mass right now. So I really have no idea how many people are going to show up for Mass. So we almost have to kind of play it by ear. After this first weekend on the 13th and 14th, we'll have a much better idea of how attendance is going to go. Uh, you know, whether we need to add a Mass, add two Masses, make some other changes. Uh, right now, this first weekend is really just sort of experimental just to see how many people are going to are going to come to Mass. So if it looks like we're going to exceed our 25% capacity, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear, as I said. So, but just for this first weekend. So this will be a good opportunity to just uh, trust in the Lord that he'll uh, lead us through this. Um, he said something about not worrying about tomorrow uh, because the, the difficulties of today are enough. So uh, as I said, we'll kind of play it by ear uh, when we get there. So with that, I'll just end my announcements today here with a word about the offertory. Uh, again, thank you to all those who have been able to uh, continue to make uh, contributions to support the parish and the school. You can do that three ways, either online, go to the parish website, and you can click on the Giving Online button. You can also stop at the churches and put a uh, contribution into the drop boxes, and you can also uh, mail it into the parish office through U.S. mail. So with that, I hope you all have a good week, and I look forward to seeing uh, many of you next week in the flesh. And uh, if not in the flesh, then on the other side of your television or computer screen. Have a good week.